Hello, amazing people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jamako. Today, I want to show you how to come about this but, um, church flyer, I mean to say. Uh, it's an amazing flyer. Good design. You can see the colors. I had two colors on them. So without much, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be using my page size will be A5 size. So you go to file, new, and select your A5. So I already have my page. So I'm going to start with a, a, a shape, a rectangle. So you draw a rectangle. So on this rectangle, we're going to be applying um, the color to it as a gradient for the rectangle. So you go under the blending options or you go straight to the gradient overlay. So once it comes up, you apply the color of your choice, the color that will go for your design, the choice. So you can see the blue there. You can click here and play around with the colors. Choose from here. You want a darker green, go for it. You want a light green, you go for it. So we'll come to that and we want to change the colors. So let's go with it. So after you select that, then I have an image that I want to apply to this. So I want to give my background more texture. So I'm, I'm using this image. I'll drag it to my design. So, so once it comes up to your design, you scale it. Scale it. Once you scale it, so we're going to add a, a, a blend option to the luminosity. So you can see that texture added to our background. So I, I want to add blur to it so you go to filter and blur gaussian blur so you have that on your image then you hit ok so this is what we have for now so the next thing i'll bring i'll bring in this image this image to our design so once it comes up that's it, the image. We we'll scale it. We'll scale the image. Then you change the, the blend option to luminosity too, so that you can you can pick colors from your background. So you can see that. So let's scale this a little bit. <laughs> so once you are done. So you let's um, rotate this by right clicking on horizontal. So it turns that way. Then you add a max to it. Then use your brush. So in designing, you can use your own style. You can play around with your style. If you have um, just giving you some tips on how to achieve this flyer, you can create your own design, create your style, however you want it, wherever you want to place this, your image that will make your design um, been appreciated by others. So the next step I'm going to be taking is just typing in some text. So and bring in the, the church name and logos and everything. So let me just bring in from my 
design here instead of typing all again so i'm going to bring this up to my design so i'll select them so those are minor ones that you can type and bring them to your design so i'm um, bringing them into the design right so let's go on so the next thing i want to show you is how i achieve this part of the design which is virtually um the let me say the the headline of this um, design how to achieve this area so first of all let's just bring this in as theme so bring the theme in the next thing let me type the theme that's the empowered so let's type empowered empowered to rise up let go powered so i'm going to change my text font that i'm using the montserrat montserrat yeah you can see the name from here montserrat is on medium but i'm going to be changing it to uh, the black Montserrat black okay so I'm going to change from that to that that's the dark so I'm going to expand so you can see so the next thing I'll just hold my alt key to duplicate these then drag and to have the same so I'll rise I'll type rise so you just scale it so you type up scale up yeah so to kill this increase the size and place under here so the next thing I'll do, I'll convert this up. That's on the layer here, I'll right click and convert to shape. So after that, I'll go to this, my tool here. That is direct selection tool. Then you see these notes, which I can adjust or highlight some particular area that I want to adjust. Then I move it, just play around with it. Um, those are in this area I'll select this area and scale it up so you can see you can see that right amazing so let's scale it a little bit more and now you scale once you drag let's increase this a little bit so guys you can see our design is done so let's just add some let's beautify it a little bit so what i'll do now i will click hold you can duplicate this in case you want to change the text but now i'm going to just highlight them and convert them to, to a smart object all together so we convert to smart object so you can see they are all together now so once they are together let's bring in this gold image here so our design and just 
come in between from your layer here, come in between it and Alt key and click. Then you see it goes into the text. So you just move the, to the direction that you want. And you have it there. So guys, you can see amazing, amazing. So let's just add a shape that is a rectangle. But this time we're going with the red. Let's add red. So you can see. We'll add the red there. So We'll type two that a text on that so you click two so that we have empower to write you get right empower to write so let's have that so type two Yeah, amazing guys. You want to place it there? You have it there. Yeah, scale a little bit. Guys, actually, that's the the most uh, attractive part of this design. Let's call it that way. So, but and feel free use your own design, use your own style, and achieve your own design. So, let's bring in the the image of the pastor. Yeah. We have this. Let's drag it to our. Yeah. So you can see, right? So, guys, this is not actually uh, a class or, or a tutorial for uh, beginners. Let me call it beginner fresh guys that. I've not really know their way around Photoshop. These are just tips I'm giving out. So you can find your way in and achieve this. Okay, just giving out tips, guys. So you have this, then you add the max, then uh, you just scale, uh, apply it like that, just like that to blend into your background. So what I'll do next, I'll, I just want this part darker. So I'll add uh, a shape there. So you pick a color, then you apply. So what we'll do now, I'll just blend that, that color to my 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 design so add i'll add the max i'll add the max zero then i'll blend so let's do it the other way so you can see guys you can see what just happened part is darker well, let's change the color but um and go with well, let's just go for this tutorial sake so the next thing i'll be doing to bring in my other information to my design so you type in the date time at this section here and any other information you have so guys you can see another let me show you another tip so you can see this flare here, just to add a little bit of brightness to our 
design. So if you bring it to your design, so you change the blend mode you can see by so using screen. So let me scale this more. So you can see that just to give our design a little bit of pop. Yeah. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, ask me any question, share your views and let me know if you got something today. Subscribe, that's the most important thing to keep me going, keep me posting more videos, like, share and comment so you can see just bring in the remaining text. Like I said, this video is not for really, really, really beginners. Beginners as such as um, they have never, never used Photoshop before. So, so sorry about that. But this video is for at least those that have started with Photoshop, but have not gotten to a certain level. And actually, even pros can get something out of this video. So let's just go on. So you can see how the flyer came out to be. So what I did next was just to change my blend option to get the green color. Any color that you see that suits your design you can make use of. So guys. See you next time. See you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's free. It's free, guys. It won't cost you much. Just hit that button. And see you next time, guys. My name is Jamako. Thank you.